So, hi guys, I'm Loretta Rosa. Welcome back to my channel, Loretta Rosa TV or 2LTV, depending on what you call it. I don't know, but um, it's Vlogmas, hence my saying that. Today is uh, day four. Today I'm going to um, do like a how to. So, I get a lot of people that reach out to me um, via email or like in my YouTube comments or Instagram or, or Snapchat, whatever. And hopefully, you guys are following me there. But people reach out to me all the time and ask me, like, how did I get like my job? How did I get all my carpets to interview people and stuff like that? And I tell them all the time, I just submitted my reel. And then people have a question, well, what is a reel? So this video today is all about building your reel, what is a reel, and how I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how you can make uh, what I came up with real. So if you are interested in working in the entertainment industry, this video is for you, so keep watching. So first thing, um, a reel. So a reel is basically the video version of your resume. When you work in entertainment, People want to see your personality. Like, it's hard to say whether a person will be good for a show or not good for a show just by looking at them on paper. That's why they have like auditions and stuff. But sometimes people just want to see your video, see your personality before they even bring you in for auditions. So you have your reel that you submit. Um, and a reel is just basically that resume in a video format, very short, concise, and to the point. So it's really important that, like, you put all the good stuff within the reel. Mine's three minutes long and I'm actually trying to work on it to get it shorter. Because when you think about like the big agents or casting um, directors, they don't have a lot of time on their hands. So you want to grab them within like the first minute or two of that reel. You need a reel because, I mean, it's just a part of what you need. Like you can't go to a job interview without a resume. You can't submit for on camera positions, whether you're an actor, a host, whatever the case may be, without a reel. Everybody who does something on television that is uh or even dancers have reels and highlight tapes and all that stuff so like, how do you build your reel i know with me i just started working for free like you've got to work for free at some point that's how i built my reel so i was working in new york with um, angela on tv and i was going around to different events interviewing people and it was all for free but like because it was angela simmons it was big so we got to do a lot of stuff so if you're looking to build your reel the first thing you do is get with the platform or create your own platform um, if you create your own platform, you got to be really good at selling it to make people want to sit down and interview with you. But um, if you get with the platform, they probably already have like everything kind of set up. You got to do something because you need video content to build a reel. Well, how do you get with these platforms? You reach out. So if you don't have a reel, you need to reach out to get with these platforms. You then can use like a written resume and I'll um, post in this video somewhere. I posted this video somewhere what my resume looks like. Um, just any experience that you have, maybe you've written some articles um, for school or anything that you've done. Um, but you basically reach out. Sometimes you gotta keep reaching out. Like I know right now I'm in the process of submitting myself for different shows and I'm reaching out to the same people multiple times a month just because they get busy and you wanna make them think or know how much of an urgency or importance this is to you so it can become important to them too whoever it is you can reach sit down and talk to them have a good camera set up like your lighting all that stuff and a lot of times you guys to be surprised i'm on red carpet sometimes and i see people doing interviews on iphone i wouldn't i wouldn't even say it gets easier you, I think you build a little bit more confidence once you get a couple interviews under your belt and then you have some material to work with. So now you're able to like, I guess, put yourself out for a little bit more, market yourself more so jobs start to flow in a little bit. So if you're trying to be an actress, you're not going to submit a hosting room. Like, you can't apply for a job. If I'm trying to be a hairstylist at a hair salon, I'm not going to submit a resume for me being a banker. It just doesn't make sense. You basically just have to know what you want to do and then that's what you focus on. So if you're a host, it depends on what kind of host you want to be to and people don't understand that there's different levels of that. So you have people that are hosts, you have people that are solely journalists and reporters, um, you have people that are live event hosts. It depends. So if you're a, per a person that is interested in sports and you want to talk sports and host basketball games and stuff, go build content in that area. Go host local games. Go create a talk show talking about sport sports and interview your local celebrities. If you're somebody that's interested in celebrity stuff, you don't even need to just interview people. You can even sit down and create videos just reacting to stuff that celebrities are doing. Sometimes you have one shot, and that one shot may be one or two minutes of a shot. You got to get them. So try to tell you guys, like, keep it short and to the point as much as you can. My reel is on my YouTube page, and I'll make sure I link it in this video and in the uh, description box below so that you guys can watch it. Again, it's three minutes, and that I took my best clips. Um, this is my TMZ reel. I'm redoing my red carpet reel because a lot of stuff I just told you guys. I went back and looked at it and I was like, 
I don't really think I care for this. Like, I'm doing some of the stuff that I'm telling, I would tell you guys not to do. The big thing about rules, also, you want to keep them updated. You want to have them on hand. Like, anytime I meet somebody and they're like, you know, we're talking about working or whatever the case may be, if they instantly say, do you have a reel? Yes. Can you send it to me? Yes. Got it right here in my email. I can send it right now with you. So now I'm going to show you guys, like, when I go in to edit my reel, how I do it. And for those of you who don't, like, really know how to edit, who don't like spend a bunch of money on video editing software, this video is gonna be really good for you guys. I say download iMovie is cheaper than a lot of the other um, editing softwares and it's just, it's easier to like do. Like it just, it's, it's a whole lot easier. Um, so I wanted to show you guys my like resume. So remember I told you that like you can actually have a resume um, in addition to your reel. Sometimes people will ask you like, can you submit your resume in your reel? So this is my hosting resume. Um, this right here, I don't know why this copy saved with the picture blurry, but the one I send out, I make sure that this photo isn't blurry. And this is basically my acting and my um, hosting headshot. Um, so I put this here just so that they could put like a face to the name. I also submit it separately in the email or whatever the submission link that I'm submitting. Then I just have my name, um, where I'm based. If you have a website or whatever, wherever they can go to find out more info about you, um, I put that afterward and then my contact information, both email and phone number. Um, I put my education here, but honestly, you don't always have to have that. I just put my education because I think I think that it's like a, in addition to all the all the stuff that's down here. And a lot of times people love it that like I'm a marketing major, like I have a degree in marketing and I know how to do mass comm stuff because basically it shows them that I understand the business of it too. Like I'm not just talent. So no offense to anybody that, you know, studied mass comm or is solely just talent and only works on the creative side. But I do know that sometimes it provides me a, a different conversation in the room. When I say I have a marketing background, I've worked in corporate marketing and creative marketing, and I'm also talent on camera. So then from there, from my education, you just go into the experience. Another thing that I did, I divided my experience up into two parts because nowadays teams are becoming smaller and people want to know everything that you're able to do because they want to be able to basically hire as less people as possible so they don't have to put out much, a lot of money. So I broke my production experience into all my on-air stuff so people um, that consider themselves on-air are like hosts, journalists, reporters, you know, people that actually get in front of the camera. And then I also added my off-camera experience. So this is uh, any production experience I've had, editorial experience when it comes to fashion, anything creative that I've done related to TV, entertainment, or pop culture, behind the scenes, I put on this um, in. So you guys will see up here, I added um, TMZ. I put in bold all of the platforms. And then under that, um, on my updated one, under that in bold and italicized is my actual um, like position and then I also on my new updated one let me see if I can find the updated one because this one another thing I do too is I keep everything in a certain folder so that when I'm looking for it really fast I don't have to go through a lot to find it okay yeah so here's my updated one so we can click out of this one So I'm um, updated one you guys will see. So I put TMZ, celebrity tour host, and um, newsroom reporter, and that's based in LA. And then I have the date, um, so November 2015 to um, present. Oh wait, that date is wrong. So I have to go back and change that because I've only been working there since um, last year. This is only a year for me, so it's uh, 2016 that's supposed to be here. See. That's why it's always important to keep going back and checking it and looking at yourself before you send it because little stuff like this could have just been a typing error, like up late at night trying to edit this or whatever. And then um, I just put all the stuff that I've done. Now, one thing that I found from doing resumes, and I'm like the go-to person even amongst my friends for resumes because I'm good at wording stuff, you always want to use proactive words. So utilized, created, uh, reported like words that kind of like show you like doing and progressing and you know taking things into your own hands um, and then you also too want to make it very like you want to add quantity you want to add numbers so when I talk about TMZ I talk about yes I work for this brand and yes I'm reporting for this brand but their viewership they have 28 million plus viewers alone just on their website so I make sure I add that in there um, and then I do the same thing for a bunch of the other corporations that I've worked for um, and I kind of give myself a variety of on camera. So TMZ, I'm a, a newsroom reporter there and a celebrity tour host. So that gives me live event and 
in studio reporting, um, EUR Web, which is a digital platform um, that gives me red carpet reporting, and MTV kind of gives me like a social lifestyle vibe of reporting with what I did here. And then Barclay Card US or the Barclays Corporation, I was a corporate spokesperson. So I went around the world and basically talked about a product that we developed um, for them for a year and I listed the locations for all these places. So they basically know that I've worked in different markets. So my, that kind of shows my contacts and all that stuff as well. And then off camera experience, I've done some casting and development. I've worked in the fashion, like editorial, like magazine room. Um, and I've also worked on fashion related television in a reality TV space with Project Runway All Stars. So you just want to give yourself as much like variety as far as like showing people what it is you can do. So flexing a little bit, but you also want to make it make sense. Like all of this stuff. Once you read through it, if you're trying to hire me, you'll know like, okay, she's very creative. She has contacts from the East Coast all the way to the West Coast. She's been able to be in a corporate setting talking to global leaders, but also can sit down and talk entertainment as well. So she can basically hold her own in any room. And then I also give them information on like softwares that I know how to use. So micro, Microsoft Office Suite, um, all the social media platforms I'm familiar with. And I don't just write these because I use them daily. I mean... I use them daily, but I use them a little bit different. Like, because I'm a digital influencer, analytics are really important to me. So, I would say if you're going to list social media platforms, understand it more than just pressing upload and share. Understand what the analytics are, what that means, um, how that translates to business and to you as a reporter or a host. And just understand, like, the deeper side of it if you're going to list it, because those questions will come up in an interview. This is iMovie right here. So basically what I do is I will download all the files that I need for iMovie and then I'll have them right here in my download. So this is all the stuff from Vlogmas Day 3 from the Christmas party. So I put everything in my downloads file just so I know where to go and find them really quickly. And then I just will simply drag them over and I'll like show you guys an example of dragging. Just drag it over and add it and then I close that. So now this video from this is the ending of vlogmas day three if you guys didn't go check out vlogmas day three make sure you go back and check that out but this is the ending of that video so i just dragged it on into here um and it's just just that simple and then you can play around with it but i'm going to delete it because it has nothing to do with my reel um so then these are the clips that i chose so i chose one one two three four five six seven i chose really six um i chose six of my best clips this is solely my uh, stand-up segment reel. A stand-up segment, that just means I'm not interviewing anybody. I'm not on a red carpet. I'm in a studio. I'm standing there. I'm talking. I maybe have been fed a little bit of information, and I'm, I'm just talking. Like The sole interesting aspect of these videos is me and what I'm saying, and I want to show how I can capture an audience through that. So basically, I'm not going to show you the full reel, but I do want to show you certain things about the reel. So your opening is really, really important. So what I did was with this reel, because TMZ is known for comedy and celebrity, I led with the funniest reel, I mean the funniest clip, but also one of the clips where um, I had a lot of time in this like, shot. Like me and Harvey were talking for majority of this clip, and I thought that that was really good because also, two people know Harvey is like the head honcho in the newsroom. So I wanted to just show that I can like, you know, hold again, hold my um, my own in the newsroom. And it was really funny as well. So this is a clip I chose to open with. It's crazy. How is he so popular? He's changing the culture. Yeah, but what's the culture he's changing? It's just like a, I don't know. How do you explain the culture to Harvey? If you can't explain it, you're not going to get me out in the street. What is the message? His message is, despite whatever, you can do whatever you want in the world. That message has been propagated for hundreds of years. Martin Luther King said it. He didn't have Snapchat. He didn't have Snapchat. Um, so that is it. That's all I have for you guys today. Vlogmas day four. Getting in the Christmas spirit. Christmas spirit. I should have some Christmas music playing. We gotta decorate because it really doesn't feel like Christmas here in LA. But I hope that you guys have enjoyed this vlog and I hope it was helpful too. Um, so if you have any more questions beyond this, like maybe I didn't cover something or whatever, just leave it in the comments below and I'll try to um, comment back to everybody. And I hope that this helps you. So get out there, create your reels, get to working on it, get those jobs going. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment below, and let me know what you think about this video. I'll see you guys in my next one tomorrow.